Good morning, my name is Monica. I'm your phlebotomist for today. I'm here to draw some blood work on you that was ordered from your doctor, okay? So first, give me your first name, and then your last name, and your date of birth. Okay, great. Now I just want to check your wristband. Good, that checks out. Now I'm going to put my paperwork down, and I'm going to gather my supplies and sanitize my hands. Okay, now I'm going to sanitize. I put about a dime size of sanitizer in my hands, and depending on the size of your hands, you might need a quarter size. But I'm going to rub vigorously, and I'm going to get all surfaces of my hands, in between my fingers, my wrists, and rub it in until it's all dry, and always get your nails. Okay, now that it's all dry, I can bring my supplies over, and I'm going to get my gloves on. You would definitely know if you did not rub in your hand sanitizer because you would have a very hard time getting your gloves on. Now I want to secure my gloves over my uh, wrist there. And now I'm going to get my other one on. Okay, putting it over the cuff of my jacket or gown. Now I am going to take a look at your arm using my tourniquet. I need to make sure I'm going to get the very best vein and good your hand is upwards and now I've placed your fist underneath your elbow which gives you some support. Now I'm going to tie my tourniquet making sure it's nice and flat so it won't dig into your skin. Alright great. Now I'm going to feel around for a bouncy vein, a very bouncy vein. It looks like I found one there. Great. Once you identify the vein, the next thing you want to do is get some alcohol. And you want to rub in a concentric circle. And if uh, the patient needs a second one, then go ahead and, and use another alcohol pad. Always keep your space clean so after you're done with your packaging, it'd be nice if you throw everything in the trash. I'm taking out what's called a butterfly. Now this is a 23 gauge butterfly. As I palpated on his arm, I know that a 23 gauge is a little too small. But I'm still going to go through the motions just to kind of show you what the butterfly is about. So it has wings, like a butterfly. All right, and uh, I want to take off that tourniquet because you don't want it on longer than one minute. Now I want to show you the wings. So they're like little wings and there's grippers, like little bitty nodules. And that's how you know that how you want to hold the butterfly. You want to hold it where you're gripping the nodules. Okay, you see there's a nice long string there. And a lot of times um, it's not good to have... A butterfly for a PTINR or a sodium citrate tube because of all the air. Now I am going to make sure I get that um, hub and the end of my butterfly on nice and snug because come sometimes when it comes from the factory it's nice and loose. Alright now uh, you see that little arrow there um, on the butterfly well, after you're done, you want to push that because that is your safety button. That's how you retract the needle. All right, so let's see. I'm going to have my tiger top tube, which is order of draw. And then I've got my labrador tube, which is hematology. And then I've got a gray tube. Okay, and maybe I'm getting a glucose or a lactic acid. In case it's a glucose, I'm going to ask him if he has been fasting um, for 8 hours or 12 hours. Alright, now as you can see I'm getting my grip together and I've got my hub on and now I will enter his vein. You always want to make sure you have your order of draw correct and you want to make sure that you tie your tourniquet back. Now, do not touch the area in which you have cleaned 
if you do, then you're going to have to use another alcohol pad to clean it. All right. The butterfly has long tubing. Okay, you already know how to grip and you already know how to put the hub at the end and make sure it's secure and snug. And look at that, how long that is. It makes it a little bit more flexible. Remember that um, butterflies should be used on smaller veins or very fragile uh, veins. And sometimes you need to use it with a syringe. I also want to show you what not to do, like holding the skin too taut or going right over your thumb. Okay, good morning. How are you? My name is Nicole and I'm your phlebotomist today. I have some orders from the doctor to draw your lab. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, great. First, uh, I need to know what your first name is. Solomon. And your last name? Johnson. Okay, can you put your arm out so I can see your... Okay. And what is your date of birth? 7 -16 Great, that checks out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this down and I'm going to get my supplies together. I'm going to sanitize my hands and put my gloves on. Okay, so give me a second. All right, now I'm gonna get my hand sanitizer. I wanna make sure that I cover all surfaces of my hands in between my fingers, my wrists, and also don't forget your fingernails. A lot of people forget to scrub those fingernails and when they do, they forget to get the thumbs. So make sure that you rub until they are dry. You don't wanna air dry or fan them in the air. Um, there may be risk of fomites, um, dust particles, and bacteria. So therefore, now I'm just gonna kinda check and see what I've got to draw. Okay, great. I make sure that I have my tubes and everything, the correct tubes. Can I ask you what do you uh, draw my blood from? Well, um, I cannot tell you exactly. I can just tell you to call your provider and they will let you know exactly what they're testing you for. Um, and that's um, our protocol and policy, okay? Okay. Okay. I would like to ask you at this time though, uh, I do see a gray tube here. So are you fasting? Yes. Okay, great, great. Awesome. How's your day been so far? Great. Okay, good. All right, so right now I'm just kind of gloving. I'm going to make sure that uh, I have my gloves on. Another thing, uh, once you get that uh, alcohol nice and dry, it's much easier to put your gloves on. You know that you don't have them dry if you certainly have problems with putting on your gloves. Okay, we're just going to let that phone ring, and we're going to keep on going. Okay, so right now... I think, uh, so we're going to use a butterfly, so we're going to go into your hand. Um, remember, with a butterfly, you want to go in about 10 degree angle, meaning it's pretty flat, but not completely flat. All right, and uh, the butterfly um, has the nice tubing, nice long tubing there, and it also has a gripper there. And if you, t you see the little bitty nodules, and you need to grab on to the gripper and you know you have it on the right side. Um, do not take off the needle, uh, the shield, shield of the needle until you're ready to stick. This part right here um, where there is another needle and, um, and so you want to turn that really tight, make sure, because sometimes you get it from the manufacturer and they're pretty loose. Okay. Now we're going to apply the tourniquet and we are going to just kind of look at your arm and it looks like that I feel like I need to go into your hand. Um, so I'm going to look at both hands. I'm going to look at both hands and um, it looks like I'm going to try this one first. Okay, so um, I am going to... Continue. Now let's take a look at the hand veins. All right. And let's check the other arm here. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see flash. Oh. All right. That's great. Okay. So now. And that's why you got to get the right size. Uh, butterfly for the right size of vein okay now uh, we're not going to fill this one all the way up so we're just going to take that out and uh, we can set that down and 
go ahead and you see how that's still flat nice and flat and we're gonna come out fast and immediately show, there we go safety comes first ask your patient to hold on to that and while she's holding on you can uh, we're going to do that eight to ten times because it does have EDTA in there and uh, that's a special type of anticoagulant that requires that and before your patient leaves um, you want to always label so you know first last name date of birth the date time and your initials okay okay we've done that great now let's uh, take a look to see if your patient is uh, still bleeding okay great she can hold on to that okay good uh, just kind of clean up our area um, uh, I guess we'll put a little tape on that I have a method that I always Okay, so now we're gonna take a piece of tape and we're gonna fold this gauze in fours just so the tape can stick pretty nice and neat. Not good, nice clean gauze. And we're gonna stick it to one side first and then we're gonna go over nice and strong, good. And there we go. All right. And of course you wanna clean up and thank your customer. Uh, she wants to sit there for a while, she can. Um, ask her if, uh, or him if there's any, uh, if she feels uh, any complications. If not, then allow them to go about their merry way. And that is okay, it. Solomon. Now that we've looked at one arm, we're going to look at the other arm. Even though I saw some nice juicy veins on the other arm, I'm going to still look at this one. And it's just good practice to find the best vein. Okay. So if you don't mind, you can rest, get, bring this arm up, put your fist there, and just let it rest there for a minute, okay? So now I'm gonna poke around here, and I do feel a vein here, okay? And I'm going to show you what happens when we apply the alcohol. You guys can probably see that vein now. As you can see, it kind of goes up this way. Are you going to talk?